So you might be wondering, how do I replace the stop lamp switch on my Jeep Cherokee? Well, today we're working on a 1993 Jeep Cherokee, and I've already removed some of the insulator panel by the driver's knee here, just to help you see a little bit better on camera. But it's really a pretty straightforward repair. You see we've got the switch here, it comes with about a six inch pigtail, and we've got the little plunger here. So we're gonna basically go on. Uh, this is a kind of a self-adjusting switch, if you will. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna give it a good firm pull, remove that, unplug the connector, slide our new one into place, and adjust it, make sure the lights are coming on and off at the proper time, and the job is done. It's really that simple. Let's take a look at the R&R process a little closer. So if we look at where our sensor's mounted, on the pedestal, which is above the brake pedal here, you'll see the sensor itself. So I grab it, kind of rock it around, and it comes out just that easy. Now up above, the harness is kind of held in place with a Christmas tree type retainer. I pull that out and I'm gonna unplug the pigtail. Once that's complete, I will take my new sensor. I'm gonna line up the alignment tab, slide it into place, put it in there as far as I can. I'll make my electrical connection and I'm going to depress the brake pedal and release it, make sure it comes back and I'll pull up on it a little bit, make sure that the sensor is not interfering with brake pedal travel. And I see my lights come on and off as they should. I'm gonna reassemble here and the job is done. See, I told you it was that easy.